Cardio Bites, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. What do we know about the genetics of amyloidosis? Transthyretin amyloid cardiomyopathy, ATGRCM, is a type of amyloidosis that is associated with thickened heart walls due to the deposition of amyloid fibrils. ATTR is classified by sequencing of the TTR gene as either wild type ATTR amyloidosis, wild type ATTR that has no mutation or hereditary ATTR amyloidosis, HATTR, which has an identified DNA variant. The DNA variant in the TTR gene that destabilizes the TTR protein puts carriers of the pathogenic TTR alleles at lifelong risk of developing ATTR. Hereditary ATTR amyloidosis affects an estimated 50,000 people worldwide. While anyone may be at risk for hereditary ATTR, it is more common among individuals of African, Brazilian, French, Irish, Japanese, Portuguese, and Swedish descent. In the United States, the most common cause of hereditary ATTR is associated with a valine 122 isoleucine point mutation. The variant is passed from generation to generation in an autosomal dominant fashion. In summary, recognizing the distinct types of hereditary and wild type amyloidosis will allow you to effectively screen for DNA variants of the transthyretin protein and effectively involve genetic counselors to ensure proper testing and education of patients and family members. Thank you for tuning in to this edition of CardioBytes, brought to you by the Heart Failure Society of America. Support for this program was provided by an independent grant from Alnylam Pharmaceuticals. I'm Natasha Sarswat. I'm an advanced heart failure and transplant cardiologist at the University of Chicago and director of our cardiac amyloidosis program. In the next module, we will discuss how to diagnose amyloidosis. Please take our survey, check the link in the description to complete an evaluation of this program. Your comments will help us develop future programs.